It's becoming something of a familiar scenario. No matter where Cyril Desprez goes, Marc Coma is rising in his shadow. Almost certain of winning this year's Dakar since the fourth stage, the Catalan is content to follow the Frenchman's lead. Three stage victories over the opening four days were enough to pretty much ensure victory for Coma, who's more or less biding his time. He's finished second over five consecutive stages. The stage win no longer seems to hold any great interest for Coma, his sights firmly set on the overall standings, leaving his less dangerous counterparts free reign to improve on their standings. Cyril Desprez has been in the driving seat for the last week, winning five stages, with Coma coming in behind in second place each time. Today he rode a flawless race. Having set out in first place, he led the field for the 220 kilometers of special, but still only managed to beat Coma by 1 minute and 45 seconds. The Spaniard remains 1 hour and 28 minutes ahead of the KTM rider, and that with only 227 kilometers special lying ahead tomorrow. In the car category, everyone has been wondering whether Volkswagen would have discussed a strategy with their drivers. With Tutorig in the top two and with the comfortable lead on Robbie Gordon who lies in third, the German team's drivers had no real incentive to push themselves too hard over this stage. And sure enough, all eyes were fixed on the Volkswagens. After only four kilometres of the 13th stage, Juniel de Villiers and Mark Miller pulled up to let Hummer's Robbie Gordon through to lead the way. They then awaited their teammate Dieter Depping and covered the stage in convoy, a good way off the best time. De Villiers and Miller thus finished 14 minutes off the stage winner Nani Roma. And bizarre as it may seem, despite their success over the last seven years, this is Mitsubishi's first stage win in three years. The last to have sealed a stage win was Luc Alphon in 2006. Miles off the pace yesterday, finishing seven hours behind De Villiers, the Spaniard, Nani Roma, finally showed his talent and that of his car. The win saved Mitsubishi some face. So far, the Japanese team has seen three of its four teams officially abandon the race. However, Roma's success changes nothing in the overall standings. De Villiers remains in the lead with two minutes and 20 seconds on Mark Miller and one hour and 27 minutes on Robbie Gordon.